hi so i hope you're doing good i'm sorry i look like a rat today i've woken up really bad hay fever like really bad i feel like my whole face is swollen my eyes i can't breathe it's just bad anyways for this video i mean doing a little bit of a very like five second vlog and then like a massive book haul of going to the library so if you like book shopping videos if you like library hauls then this is the video for you i've got i think one two three four five six seven eight nine i got nine library books and then i bought one book so it's a cute little haul i saw it like a rat in the next video like when i actually do it but like i look a bit more presentable because like i haven't just woken up and i'm not full of hay fever but anyways i hope you enjoy i went library shopping to like two different places i then went book shopping for like five seconds we went out for a really cute little like lunchy date and the burger was stunning hope you enjoy look at sammy we're gonna go to the library today. I'm gonna get some books. Gonna sign up for the library because we haven't had the library since we were younger. This is Raja. He is a really sleepy, moody boy. Aren't you, Georgie? Well, not legally. Can't believe it's 20. It's like three adults. Hey, <laughs> this is just stunning. Yeah. Hi, so I just came back from the library and I thought I'd do a little bit of like a haul of everything that I got and I'm so excited. I went like so over the top at the library because obviously it's lots of free books and I haven't had like a library subscription like not since I was like really young and so like I wanted to utilise it as much as I can and I've got nine books because you can get up to 20 and I was like I can't get 20 because I can only read them in three weeks and I was like I've got other books that I need to read. I might not even read all these nine books but hopefully. 20. Um, yeah but I've got nine. 20. 20. Huh? You said 20. I didn't mean That's to say that. So we went to the we went to W H Smiths and then I I wasn't meant to get any books because obviously if you've seen my other videos I've got a massive physical TBR. Do I already have we are liars? No. No. No, because but also oh, <laughs> no, because I would have remembered putting it in there. I don't. I don't. I don't think I do. No, because I would, I'd look at that every day. Well, why do I recognise though? I don't. I don't. For holidays that I'm going on, I want to try and bring like one book with me so it could just be like my holiday book. And so I can read other books like on my phone, but then like have one book where it's just me covering like sunscreen and like annotating and like sun. Because that's what I did to Malibu Rising. And now that's like my favourite book to look through because it's just like so many memories. So basically, I decided to get We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. And I wanted to get this one because it's pink and I haven't seen it be pink anywhere whatsoever like what the hell this is so stunning and obviously it's like a massive summer read it's really short i don't know if i'm gonna like it because my sister said she didn't like it so i'm scared but i think i will like it i think you'll like it. i think i was just being picky and like didn't enjoy it because i wasn't in the mood for it but like i think it is a good book because everyone raves about it if i like it will you reread it yeah maybe yeah okay for one of my holidays this is gonna be the book so I'm really excited so I got this because it's justified because it's going to be my holiday book so I need to read that. Anyways, so we got our library card at a library near us. There, there wasn't that many, like, that was not a good collection. So we went to, like, a kind of bigger one in town and, oh my god, it was amazing. It was massive. It was full of millions of books and I, we were just having so much fun. So at the smaller one, I got four books and at the bigger one, I think I got five. So if I do what I got at the smaller one. First of all, I got Project Fairy by Jacqueline Wilson. I like to read a lot of middle grades. Ruby Granger recommended one of Jacqueline Wilson's book, books, which recommended one of her books. I can't remember what it was called. It made me really want to read one of her books. And then I saw this and I thought it was very springy because obviously spring, I want to read as many spring books as possible. It looks really cute. Apparently it's just about her and she picks up this book on Victorian like fairies and they're not what she thought they would look like. You know, like they're cute, like fairy ones, but like, you know, like Spirit Chronicles fairies. Yeah, I'm just really excited. And then apparently they start coming out of the book or something like that. Then out of the kids section as well, I got Anne of Green Gables and I love this cover so much. It's so pretty. And obviously spring vibes completely. And I really want to read it because it's Darling Desi's like favorite. Then we found this in like the buyer section. I'll give you the sun. What's it about? It's about a sister and a brother. The brother's gay and he has a tough time coming out or something. It's like his story about coming out. And then, I don't know actually what it's about. It's kind of like family. Okay. I li like character based. I like character based. Yeah, I like family and siblings. Things. And then, the one that I was so excited about, and I literally saw many of the copies of this. So I saw one in the smaller one. Two, was it two or three in the one in town? Oh, yeah. It was crazy. So I, we saw millions of these today. And it's perfect because this is on my spring TBR. Because look how spring it looks. It just looks stunning. I think it's like YA horror or mystery or something like that. I'm really excited to read it. I don't really know much about it. But like, it's like really, really high on my TBR. Then moving on to the bigger library, I found this gorgeous edition of Rebecca. It looks stunning. Basically, 
basically I read maybe a couple chapters of this for uni when I thought it was a book that we had to read and then realised that we didn't, it wasn't on the list anymore. Obviously I don't want to waste my time reading it when I had other books for uni to read so I just kind of stopped it. So I think I'm just going to start again and like reread it a little bit and I'm excited because from what I read I did really enjoy it. Okay and then for ages now I've been wanting to read this book because I love the movie and then I found out that Neil Gaiman wrote the book for it so that's Stardust and this is the kind of ugliest book that I've gotten today. <laughs> Don't you think? Not bully. Not bully. Yeah, I'm excited to read this because obviously, like, I love the movie. Hopefully it's good as a movie because that movie is, like, good to Then I got No One Is Talking About This by Patricia Lockwood. Now, I've been 50% through this book since Christmas time because I got it from library at my uni and then I had to return it and then I just didn't care enough to finish it off because I was so bored. I couldn't tell you what this was about. Like, I'd have to read through my notes again. But it looks so pretty, so I'm not sure whether I want to reread the book or just carry off where I was. Then I got Mexican Gothic, which I'm so excited to read. All the YouTubers ever have all given this, like, really high ratings. Also, my friend at uni bought it, and she's really excited to read it, so. It's like a husband-wife thriller, right? Then, lastly, I literally only got this, because I literally saw this somewhere. I can't remember where. Someone recommended it. Then I read, like, the synopsis, and it just sounds really chill and cute. The book looks really pretty, so that's mostly why I got it. Apparently, it's just funny. It's erotic, and... <laughs> it's a rom-com. <laughs> it's a rom-com. I think she moved to, like, her sister's house in Venice Beach, and it's, like, a really gorgeous house that looks over the beach, and one day, she sees this guy swimming at night and then she just kind of be like obsessed with him and apparently it's funny and it's cute so as you can see i've got millions of books and i've got to somehow read them plus all the books i'm currently reading and are on my tbr and everything before the third of may i've got four spine books <laughs> Yeah, Erin wouldn't get any of them because she was too scared that she couldn't read them. <laughs> what do you mean? In time. Oh. <laughs> couldn't read them full stop. <laughs> Erin can't read books. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I got these like halfway through April. And so I have like half of the month of April to essentially like read them. Plus all of the books that I'm currently reading. So basically like getting all these library books was like a kind of minor mistake. Because now I feel like I'm really stressed to have to read all of these and all the books for vlogs and all the books I already on my TBR. So that's why it's all like a massive haul. Because yeah, nine books isn't a lot. And I feel like we could all kind of read nine books in a month. That's nine books for half a month. <laughs> but that's the books I already have to read. So I don't think I'm going to read all of them. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please use this as a sign to utilise your local library. Because I didn't realise like how good my libraries would be. Like you see in America when people go to libraries and they have all these romances there. And I was like, uh, like that would never happen there me but to be honest we did see a couple romances but for the most part we just found some really good books so yeah definitely go to your local library and get some bye bye hope you have a wonderful week see you soon